Fantastic Gaming. The channel where Logan will show you everything. From gameplay to gear, their crew is here. To take you on a journey through every atmosphere. Releases to news, you don't have to choose. But Fantastic Gaming is here for you. Hey everybody, Logan here. And oh my god, did Nintendo hit us? So, uh, just uh, less than 20 minutes ago as of recording, I woke up and, well, I woke up, I, I've been awake for a while and I was on YouTube like I am every morning and checking out the news and seeing what's going on and lo and behold, Nintendo hits us with a trailer for the Nintendo Switch, pr uh, nope, Nintendo Switch OLED model. So, this new model will be out October 8th, 2021 for a uh, MSRP of $349.99. And the console will have a 7-inch OLED screen, wide adjustable stand, a dock with a wired LAN port, and 64 gigs of internal memory along with enhanced audio. Um, the trailer showed pretty much everything uh, that's available. But if you head on over to Nintendo's website, nintendo.com forward slash switch forward slash OLED dash model uh, forward slash, which I'll leave the link in the description below, you can actually see all the details. Now, with that being said, uh, the only real changes were the ones just listed there, except for a couple of aesthetic changes. So, yes, the screen is seven inches. It's now larger. The console looks to be exactly the same size as a standard Switch, um, but with a smaller uh, bezel around the screen. So you're gonna have more screen space, less black border. So by the look of it, and even what you saw in the video, your Joy-Cons are gonna be the same. Your console size is gonna be the same. So all your cases, whether you got your Satisfy, your Mumbo, or your Hori cases, what have you, doesn't matter who you have, it should still fit. Now, the only difference is some of the cases have a little, um, I, I guess, section for the, the kickstand. If yours has that, then no, this will work, um, but it should still fit nonetheless. The dock is different. Now, the colors for this one, instead of the gray and the black, they look to be, well, white and black. So the dock is slightly is shaped slightly a bit different. Uh, you've got a bit more curvature to it. Uh, the back is slightly different, and it also has that built-in uh, LAN port, which I think is a great thing, since the switch was originally just wireless. So this is going to speed up downloads uh, significantly, especially if you have a um, a slower wireless connection. If you don't have the greatest router. Uh, in the world, but you can still connect it uh, directly to your router and download uh, your games much quicker. So that's always a great thing. Now it's got 64 gigs of internal storage, which means it's double the capacity of the standard Switch uh, and Switch Lite because you just get 32, but it's still rather small. Um, you're still going to need your um, micro SD. I still recommend the 512. Uh, one terabytes, you know, they work, but I've still seen too many issues with, you know, the majority of them not working, and they're just rather hefty in price. You can get a 512 um, on sale quite often, whether it be from Amazon uh, or uh, Best Buy or what have you. I, I wait till they go on sale. I never pay full price for those suckers. So you can always upgrade. Now, the enhanced audio has the same speakers at the bottom. Uh, of the screen but they're according to the image that you can actually uh, see whether it be in the trailer or on the website they're much larger speakers so uh, I'm, I'm gonna say they're the the fact that they're larger speakers you are gonna get better sound that's why they are uh, talking about the enhanced audio but uh, yeah we're definitely gonna have to wait and see or wait and hear <laughs> for those Otherwise, everything else still stays the same. Uh, all your Joy-Cons still fit. Your Joy-Con accessories still fit. Uh, Nintendo hasn't shown anything else to be any different um, according to the trailer or to the site either. So the 4K hopeful doesn't look like it. 
Now, one thing Nintendo hasn't said is anything about the internals. So whether or not the processor or the the GPU, CPU, what have you, uh, the motherboard is slim. If anything is different internally, we don't know. We're just going to have to wait till it comes out. And I'm sure Spawnwave will be taking this sucker apart because that's definitely not what I'm going to be doing. Um, so we'll, we'll definitely be seeing it there. Maybe Digital Foundry will do something. I'll always look to those guys for your uh, your your tech, your nitty gritty check uh, of. Uh, the consoles being pulled apart and uh, an in-depth dive into uh, the the inner workings of consoles and whatnot. So, with that being said, I think this is maybe a stopgap. It's not what everybody wanted. It isn't um, a pro model per se, but it is. If people wanted the 4K. Well, this is more of a, a handheld side uh, upgrade, and I think that's that's going to be a big thing. Now, we don't know if the internal battery has been updated. That's going to be, excuse me, one thing that um, with an OLED screen might have more battery consumptions. Not 100% sure there on what they're using per se. Uh, there was leaks about a special screen that they were going to be using, but who knows? We don't know yet until we can get our hands on this and uh, uh, it opened up. I'm sure there should be some kind of larger battery. But, as of right now, uh, this isn't something Nintendo normally does with their home consoles. They've never done a, a an upgraded, more powerful version of a home console. This has always been a handheld thing with the DSi and the new 3DS uh, as examples. So, yeah, this, is, this definitely makes sense because it's always the handhelds that usually get... The, the the hardware upgrades from uh, Nintendo, not the home console version, but this does give a slightly bit uh, of an upgrade to the home console with just the Ethernet port. But again, like I said, once once it's taken apart and we see if there's a better processor of uh, GPU or CPU, and may who who knows? Maybe it'll run better. Maybe it'll run smoother. Maybe it'll run faster. That's what we're looking for. Um, yeah. That, that, that's all we can say now because Nintendo just dropped this trailer, put the one page up on the on the website and said, here you go, everybody, and I will be buying this myself. It comes out October 8th, which is 10 days before my birthday. So happy birthday to me. Thank you, Nintendo. Um, now you should just give me one so I don't have to buy it and then I can review it. Yeah? No? Okay, they don't do that. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video, make sure everybody knows about this. So yeah, put this all out there. So everybody knows this is a breakdown of the Nintendo Switch OLED model. Head on over to RedBandanaGaming.com. Don't forget about that. Check our uh, spring shop in the description below where you can get great shirts like this and others. And make sure, follow us on our socials for all kinds of other great gaming stuff. And like we always say... Be legendary. Thanks again.